Okay, this is a test of the GH4 autofocus capabilities. Uh, I've reduced my shutter angle to 150 based off of a recent hack that I noticed online that I read about. And right now I'm using an Olympus 17 millimeter uh, aperture 1.8. I'm not sure if it's actually on 1.8 right now, but I just wanted to show you guys, um, you know, look, I'm, I'm gonna kind of walk in and out of frame and see if it finds me again. Uh, right now I can see that the face detection is on. So that's a cool thing. And, you know, from what I can tell, uh, I should be in focus right now. So like I said, I'm gonna move on in and out of the frame, I'm gonna to try to move around a little bit to see how well it tracks me with these new settings and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm moving out of the frame. Let's see what it does. You know, is it gonna, is it gonna try and refocus on the background? We'll see. If I come back into the frame, here I am again. Let's try, I'm gonna get real close like this. Let's see if it's gonna focus on me. Now I'm gonna back up real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna focus in real close like this. Let's see how long it takes. I'm not actually going to look at the screen because that's a little off-putting. I'm going to look right at the camera. And now what I'm going to do is, this is a very popular thing, like a lot of demonstration videos need to do this. I'm going to hold an object in front of the camera with my face behind it to see how quickly it resolves the, uh, the autofocus issues. So let's see, I, I got some fishing supplies here that uh, will do the trick. Right here we got a pump. Okay, so I can see that the face detection is highlighted around my face. But let's see what happens when I do this. Okay, let's see if it, if it manages to focus on this and know that this is what I'm trying to focus on. I'm not sure what the focus minimum focus distance is on this lens, so maybe I should bring it back a little bit. Um, we'll try doing this too to see. Now see right now I can tell I have to block my face for it to get to register on this, but I think it did go into focus. And if I bring back, yep, it brings my face back. So it really does look like the face detection is working. And I think the shutter angle, by reducing it to a lower uh, shutter angle, it seems to speed up the motor, the focus motor. Um, so I'm gonna post a link down below to, to the video that talks about lowering the shutter angle. It's kind of, it's considered a hack, but it's like, you don't really hack anything. You just change the settings so it's a little lower. The trade-off to a lower shutter angle, as you guys already probably know, is the same with the lower shutter speed. You might get more motion blur. Um, wait a minute. No, I think it's the other way around. I think when you increase the shutter speed, <laughs> the shutter angle, you get more motion blur because it lets in more light. So the the trade-off to having a lower shutter angle, if I understand it correctly, is that you're going to get a little bit more jittery kind of movement. You're going to get less motion blur. Like if I'm doing you know, this with my hand, you might not see as much motion blur as if you up the shutter angle. But the trade-off is the, fo the autofocus seems to work a lot harder at higher shutter angles. So this is something I want to test out. I have a lot of problems with this camera in terms of the autofocus. Let me know what you guys think. If you've experienced this, have you tested this hack out? What do you think? Does it work? Does it not work? Let me know. Like, subscribe if you like this video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.